I gave you 10 years to live your life. Now you see me rise. And where did that get you? You walked in my shadow. I trained you most dangerous people in the world couldn't kill you. Son, it's time for you to take your place by my side. You better watch out cause it's my time. That's not going to happen. What's going on everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. And this morning we got the official teaser trailer for Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. And as you just saw, it did not disappoint. It's actually quite different than I thought it was going to be like, but in a very, very good way. In this trailer, we are semi-introduced to several new characters. We finally have the real Mandarin in the MCU. We have Aquafina's character, Katie. We have people like Razor Fist, and we have an entire plot to break down. So let's dive into it. But of course, be sure to subscribe if you love Marvel and don't want to miss out on anything that's happening in the MCU. And I'm still doing the Captain America Shield giveaway. Just check out the details in the description down below. So it looks like we start this trailer off in China. Shang-Chi was originally from China. This is where he was raised and we find him looking at an old wooden pillar that kind of has a little hole in it. As Shang-Chi touches it, we can see that he's reliving some memories and judging by his facial expression, they're not exactly good. He touches the pillar, then puts his fist inside of the hole. Flash forward to a few scenes later in the trailer, it turns out this hole was made by him punching it repeatedly over and over again as a child, and this was part of his training. Now, this trailer goes through many different time periods of Shang-Chi's life, and we cut to the present where he's working as a valet and a DJ, and we hear the voice of his father in the background saying, I gave you 10 years to live your life, and where did that get you? And as he says this, we see what Shang-Chi is up to now. Again, he's a valet and a DJ, and he's out partying with his friends, and genuinely seems to be having a pretty good time. However, this seems like one of those stories where you can't deny who you are, as his father says, time is up, I gave you 10 years, now you're coming back. And this is where we start to see a little bit of his past and how his father trained him. Now, side note, if you are aware with the Shang-Chi comics, they've actually changed quite a bit. The reason they are changing some things like his origin and who his father is, is because the comics back then in the 70s were kind of stereotypical and racist, or at least could be viewed by some as such. So his father in the movie is in fact the Mandarin, the leader of the Ten Rings, but his father's name is Wen Wu, not Fu Manchu like the comics. And as we see, he's been training Shang-Chi ever since he was a little kid. We also see Death Dealer training him as well, one of his father's most trusted partners. And from here, we start to see the vigorous training that Shang-Chi was put through as a kid. A young Shang-Chi is punching this wooden pole that we saw repeatedly over and over, and he stops, but Deathmaker is there to make sure that he keeps going, fighting through the pain, in which we see that he eventually gets used to because when he's a little bit older, he's able to hit it repeatedly without stopping. His father then says, you walked in my shadow. And in this scene, we actually see the 10 rings on his arms. Now the 10 rings is one, a weapon, and two, an organization that Shang-Chi's father, Wen Wu, runs. And yes, in this movie, Wen Wu is the Mandarin, the leader of the 10 rings organization. And he's been training Sima Liu's character, Shang-Chi, to be a part of this organization, to be a trained killer that nobody can defeat. 
But at the same time, the tin rings are a physical thing. They're actually weapons. In the comics, they're literally rings that you wear on your fingers. But as we see here in several different scenes, the tin rings are indeed rings, but they're quite large. And we can see them kept on the Mandarin's arms instead of on his fingers. Now in the comics, each ring grants a different ability. Some of them being ice blasts, fire blasts, electronic blasts, the ability to absorb all light around you and create complete darkness, along with a lot of other energy abilities abilities. And we actually see the rings being used a couple of times during the trailer. When his father says he walked in a shadow, we immediately see the rings being used after. We see somebody punching a table and we actually see a blue glow on the arms. So we see that the rings are being used. And judging by the suit that this person is wearing, it looks an awful lot like the suit that we just saw the Mandarin wearing. And he was wearing the rings, so we can assume that this is him and not Shang-Chi in this shot here. We then hear his father say, I trained you so the most dangerous people in the world couldn't kill you. And here we see some of the vigorous training that he was put through as a boy. And in this little montage of Shang-Chi training, we actually find something very interesting. In the shot of Shang-Chi, where he seems to be in some type of an arena meant for fighting, we can actually see in the background behind the change a Captain America shield. At least, that is very, very much what it looks like. Now, we're not actually sure when in the MCU Shang-Chi takes place. It could take place before the blip, it could be after. This could actually be some type of propaganda for John Walker's new Captain America. It could also just be graffiti on the wall. Perhaps somebody painted the shield there. It's also been pointed out that this kind of looks like the Tunisia flag. So it could also very well be that, depending on where Shang-Chi ends up throughout the movie. Maybe we'll find out in the movie, or maybe it's just a tiny little easter egg. Now the premise of the story is Shang-Chi was trained as a kid, his father let him go away for 10 years to kind of live his own life, and now his father wants him to come back and take his place beside him, running the Ten Rings organization. Now in the comics, Shang-Chi does a lot for his father until it's revealed that his father isn't exactly doing good things. And that is most likely the story here. If you recall all the way back to the very first MCU movie, Iron Man, the Ten Rings organization was name dropped as they were the people people who captured Tony Stark. They came back again in Iron Man 3 where we were introduced to a fake Mandarin. But now we have the real Mandarin and the real Ten Rings organization, so I'm curious to see as how they're going to connect them to the Iron Man movies. Hopefully there will be some callbacks. Now of course, Shang-Chi does not want to return to live the life that his father wants him to live. He doesn't want to join his organization or lead it. And he probably actually ran away from the organization. His father says, I gave you 10 years to live your life, but what he's really probably saying is, you ran away and I gave you 10 years of not chasing you so you could kind of get some stuff out of your system, but hey, time's up, stop playing around, come back home. But Shang-Chi is like, nah. However, his father tells him that he can't outrun who he really is. And from here, we get some pretty epic fight scenes with some pretty cool characters. And the fighting actually looks very well done. It looks like it's a good combination of actual hand-to-hand -hand combat fighting with a little bit of CGI animation thrown in there. Here we see some characters working for the Mandarin trying to take out Shang-Chi. We see Razor Fist, who was a big Shang-Chi enemy in the comics, but in the comics, it's actually both of his hands that are replaced with Razor swords, whereas here we only see one of them replaced. We're also introduced to Xi Ling, who is actually Shang-Chi's sister and the daughter of Wen Wu, aka the Mandarin. And it's been said in the movie that she's actually going to help Shang-Chi take down the Ten Rings. Now there is a mysterious character that we do see in this trailer, and he is wearing and using the Ten Rings. Now I believe this is the character that Dallas Liu is going to be playing. Dallas Liu right now is playing an undisclosed character in the movie. But in this shot right here of Dallas Liu fighting Shang Chi where he's wearing the rings, we can kind of see his face and it does look like him. However, the character that he is playing is unknown right now. We also have Michelle Yeoh who is playing an unknown character as well and we don't really see her in this trailer. However, in the trailer Shang-Chi does fight a woman wearing green who is wearing a face mask. So we don't really get a good look at her but this could be the character Fa Lo Su aka the Cursed Lotus. This outfit looks like it could be an adaptation of the comic book outfit of the Cursed Lotus and the Cursed Lotus in the comics is actually the half-sister to Shang-Chi and the leader of the criminal organization Oriental Expeditors. She is constantly at battle with her brother in the comics and she actually has access to the elixir of life. So she's practically immortal and she could hypnotize people with her words. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is who Michelle Yeoh is playing. 
Now, in the final scenes, we hear the Mandarin, Shang-Chi's father, say, you can't outrun who you really are. And then, after Shang-Chi beats up a bunch of people on a bus, we see Aquafina's character, Katie, ask, who are you? And this obviously isn't because she doesn't know who he is, they're best friends in the movie, but she didn't know about his past. She doesn't know that he's the master of Kung Fu. And it's been said that she's not going to have an insanely heavy role in this movie, but a good role nonetheless. And that's it for the breakdown of the teaser trailer of Shang-Chi be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future Shang-Chi related videos plus other Marvel and other superhero movies as well. Be sure to let me know what you think about this trailer in the comments down below. How excited are you for Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings? Don't forget to like the video and for live updates you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. As always thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.